the first four terms. So again, what we're just going to simply have to work with is we want to determine the first term, the second term, the third term, and the fourth term. All right. So again, to do this, what we're simply going to do is plug in our, our 1 in for n. So in this case, we have negative 1 raised to the first power times 2 times 1 minus 1. And let's just evaluate this as we go. So negative 1 to the first power is negative 1 divided by 2 times 1 is 2 minus 1 is 1, which equals negative 1. Okay? I know it might be very, very, um, hmm, hmm, what's the word? Um, you may want to do a lot of this stuff in your head, right? Very appealing to kind of do this really quickly. But I will tell you guys, you know, by showing your work, you don't want to be making mistakes on these types of problems, right? Because you know these are going to be kind of like your, the easier of the problems. So you want to make sure that you just be careful and make sure you just show the work to be able to follow it. Because I know it's going to be very appealing to just want to do everything in your head. So here we have negative 1 squared divided by 2 times 2 minus 1. So negative 1 squared, we now understand, is going to be a positive 1. 2 times 2 is 4, minus, minus 1 is 3. And there ends up being our simplified answer. Then we do a sub 3. So now we have negative 1 cubed divided by 2 times 3 minus 1. Well, negative 1 cubed, we now know is negative 1. Right? And 2 times 3 is 6, minus 1 is 5. I feel a sneeze coming on. So <clears throat> now we have a sub 4. So again, we're just going to do the same thing. So we have negative 1 to the fourth power divided by 2 times 4 minus 1. Negative 1 raised to the fourth power, we know is going to be a positive 1. And then 2 times 4 is 8, minus 1 is 7. So there you go. Now there's a couple things to notice about this. One thing is you guys notice that now these have alternate signs, right? One's the negative, one's the positive. Negative to positive. Okay? So just another important thing to look at and understand how that's going to affect us just by looking at the, our um, formula. Yes.